What the hell is Packer? Is it an important tool in DevOps in 2021? Who's even using it? What industries is it used in? Well, I have answers for you, my friend. Mike here from learndevops.com.au and today we're going to be talking about HashiCorp's Packer. Now, Packer is a tool for creating machine images. It's for creating what you might have heard called golden images or things like Amazon machine images, AMIs. That's what Packer does. That's its primary focus is you write some code, you describe what you want your AMI, for example, to look like, how you want it to be configured using some external tools such as SaltStack, Ansible, Puppet, and so on and so forth. And then you run it and it reads your configuration, it talks to AWS, it creates an EC2 instance, it configures it and runs all those tools against it. Then it takes a snapshot and that gets you your AMI and then it shuts down that instance and then you're left with this nice, clean, bespoke AMI that you can then use to spin up other EC2 instances. It's an incredibly powerful DevOps tool and it fits into the DevOps tool chain very, very nicely in 20, 2021. However, that being said, I don't actually see it being utilized all that often. In fact, in the last four to five years, I would say that I've seen one of my customers using it. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not because it's a good tool. That doesn't mean it's a bad tool or a good tool or an excellent tool. It is an excellent tool. I can guarantee you that it is an excellent tool. It's just primarily because people are still adopting cloud and they're still getting to it. There's lots of people using cloud, but you'd be surprised how many organizations are still taking a town to adopt cloud. And because Packer is sort of this really tiny little tool that's sort of just off to the side and you've got these big, huge tools like Kubernetes and Terraform and uh, all these massive tools that are just sort of shadowing Packer over here, that just means it hasn't really had the limelight that all the other tools have had. However, if it was to get more PR, if you like, it would definitely shine and more organizations would definitely use it. So now the question is, is should you focus any of your time on it? And the answer is yes, you should definitely have a good play around with Packer, create multiple images, learn how to put Packer inside. Here's a challenge for you. Learn how to put Packer inside of a CI pipeline, have it running on a schedule and have it creating a state-of-the-art, brand new security patched Windows server AMI for you on a nightly basis. That sounds like a good idea, right? Having a operating system that's constantly patched that when you're bringing up new servers, they always have the latest security patches. That's one of the things that Packer can help do for you when you include it in other tools like CI CD, like such as GitLab CI, for example. So yes, get familiar with it. I see it not very often. However, I have seen it and heard of it being used across other industries, but I've only had one client use it, but that's just simply because it's such a small little tool. Hopefully that answers your question. Packer, yes, definitely give it a shot. If you really enjoyed this video, then hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let me know down in the comments below on the YouTube, which where you type into the box, it's like this, it's like then you type into it like this, and you leave me a comment, and you let me know whether or not Packer is a tool that you're using. Maybe you're using it daily, maybe you've never even heard of it, and now you've found out something new. Oh, I'm glad I could help you, that would be glorious. Of course, if you want to have a chat about this as well, then head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au. Let's connect soon. Thank you. Very nice.